Hi. Hi, handsome. Let's squish. Smile. <laughs> so, had all of our games come in from Amazon. If you follow me on Instagram, I don't know why I couldn't think of it, then you've seen some of these, but I just got this one in today. So, we got Sequence. Everyone's saying Sequence is a really good game, so we'll have to play this once Mason goes down. Um, can't wait to try that. Speak Out. You've, have you tried this game, Speak Out? Where you put the thing in your mouth? So, we're going to try this one too. It says four plus players, but... Are there different pieces or do we have to share the same one? No, there's different pieces. So I don't want that coronavirus. And then, um, this one I got as well, Monopoly Deal card game. So this looks pretty cool too. And then we have some other like board games and stuff, but these are just new ones, you know, to spark some interest. I got these because I saw them on Amazon. I thought they were funny. So this is like more for a group of people. I'm, I don't think Davis and I will use these uh, together. But, and then this is also, wouldn't you say this other game we got from Megan and Destin's like a really good game for if you're home? Oh yeah. So it's called You Betcha. And this is like a, how do you, how do you describe it? More like a fact. Oh, it's, it's poker, but you're betting on how many you get right. Yeah. You're betting on your own intellect. Yeah. And it's actually, it, it, it took us a little bit to get through some of this, but, um, like when you say we passed a lot of time with this game, if you're up on your current events slash old events, <laughs> depending on what it is, what the card is. But there's like a bunch of different cards in here you can pick from. And it's super easy to understand. And yeah, it's another really good game if you're interested. So. Mason. Hi. <laughs> big boy. You big boy? I think you're tired, huh? In case you're curious. Still looking nice and busted. <laughs> All of my lashes are falling off. I'm actually trying to get them off. Yeah, I'm actually trying to get them off because they're bothering me. Of course, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt I wear like every day of the year. So, what's up? Okay, we are hanging up one more shelf. As you can see, there's a lot packed on this shelf, so we're gonna have one more. We're gonna take all this down, and then I'm gonna put it right back up. So, let's start with all the rosy days. It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the date I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor and found the champagne by the door All my favorite things, they were there except for you You were gone You just pick up your phone Called you like a thousand times You saw my name and it declined Pick up, pick up Told you once, I'll tell you twice Baby, I apologize So pick up, pick up your life The text I sent was red So I know that you ain't dead If you just let me On the gram, I even tried to call your fam All the things I would say just to make it up to you But you're gone Hello, hello down there, Daisy up here, Rose, hello, hello <laughs> Thank you so much for looking <laughs> Okay, this is like sweatshirts that are not rosy days. These are rosy days that I have out. We've got some jeans that are rosy days and um, American Eagle, stuff like that. I think I'm going to take some of these out and put them up out here. That way I can get to them easily. Because otherwise I will never use them. And then this I need to organize too. Okay, 
I'm gonna give you guys an update on the backyard. Would you like to come out? So, we have been brainstorming like what to do. This is all extra wood Davis had from building the fence. But we've been brainstorming kind of what we wanna do and I think we finally came to a conclusion for the most part, so. This is the grill we have it set up, you know, now that we've kind of painted this whole outdoor section that he did, um, we can kind of move forward with everything else. So we can start moving furniture over here, get it out of here so this can be painted, like pressure washed, you know, you gotta do a bunch of stuff to it. But I think we're gonna do, it's like gonna be a bar kitchen area, so we're gonna probably have open seating under here but make it like an actual countertop here, here, and here. We were thinking about adding a bar here, but um, it just didn't make sense. So we're going to leave this part open. I'm pretty sure it's what we've come to the conclusion on. We're going to do cabinets here, here, and then have seating arrangement. And then have like a tiered thing back there. We just went with something simple, grill-wise, but Weber, Weber is good. I mean, we used this one as a Weber. But I think it's going to look nice. I can't wait to paint this part of everything and just clean this off. I also ordered from Wayfair. It should be coming in on Friday, but we're gonna have little plants, like planters right here. They're gonna kind of scatter the beam. And then I think another thing we might do is take out, look at that wasp over there, is take this lighting out when we finally build the outdoor kitchen, but we'll see. We'll see what we're working with. watching daddy tape off everything looks good <laughs> oh it's gonna be so much easier to just spray once we get everything taped off oh yeah we um bought a flare <laughs> but we bought a spray gun whenever we were doing um the bus and now he's going to use that on this concrete. What are you doing? Did you lose your passy? Yeah, yeah it's right yeah. there. It's right there. <laughs> so I just had some groceries delivered. You want to see Daddy painting the patio? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go see. Come on. Cutie pie. I don't even think he's painting just yet. Oh, yeah, he's painting the sides. Him painting? You see him painting? <laughs> you watching? So we were outside, but we had to come inside. <laughs> you want some sweet potatoes? I can hit you up some sweet potatoes. You sweet boy. I've got to sell tangentite. Oh my gosh. That color looks pretty. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights 
baton If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Mason's eating sweet potatoes. Mmm, good, huh? Have some extra ones, but um, I'm about to make this home chef, so that's what we're doing. Yummy. Casey's upstairs putting Mason down. And we've got green beans and salmon. I don't know what if she, I don't know what all she has showed you guys out here, but we've matched the concrete right here to the concrete that I poured a few weeks ago. So those are kind of the house projects we've got going on right now. Hey guys, so I am in my bathroom right now, and I'm about to do my makeup really quickly just need to throw some makeup on i really need to throw some lashes on because uh quarantine problems um all my lashes have pretty much fallen out minus a few so they look a little crazy i use a little crazy very lightly and they look pretty wild so anyways i am putting on makeup today because i do have some content i need to shoot so we're gonna be doing that um I'm gonna be trying some different products. I have like this Too Faced Peach Perfect concealer. I have this Kosas concealer, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do my makeup quickly and more so speed through it for you guys. Um, there's like this one piece of my hair that is pulled back so bad. Oh, got it. ready for the day so weird seeing myself with these lashes on but we're here we made it now I think we'll go outside and make some TikToks and get some content done because we need to get it done <laughs> I'm gonna try to get you teaching. <laughs> Come on, girls. Don't open it. It's horrible. Hi. All right, so patio's done. We painted it all. Rose is putting her paw prints everywhere. Looks so good. You like it? Boom. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. 
He just had a popsicle and then we have this frozen peach right here. And he doesn't want it. And you don't want it, do you? You don't want it, do you? Those blue eyes. Meh. Meh. <laughs> so I didn't get to mention this earlier to you guys. Um, I did end up shutting down Rosie Days for the time being. We're taking a break, letting everyone just go home, you know, stay away from people and isolate themselves. And it was it was a hard decision, but it wasn't a hard decision. It had to be done, and I'm glad I did it. I'm actually glad it's over because I think. If you're following the news, like I've been watching the news every day, trying to keep update with it. Um, yeah. I know, and like I, I've told you guys many times before, I follow this boutique group, and a lot of people are still open. But it just, yeah. I know, there just comes a time when you just have to make your decision that you feel like is gonna be best for you. And after seeing some articles and news stuff last night, I just decided, all right, that's enough. Like I literally made it the decision last night to close at 12 o'clock today so that's what we did and like i said i'm happy i did it i'm glad like the initial part is over um we did do uh so we sent out an email i know we sent out an email and posted on instagram i posted on mine um on rosy days just so everyone knows but they're still gonna get paid we're gonna be closed for 14 days telling them about rosy days going incognito for a little while Good for every, all parties involved. All parties involved. Look at those teeth! Oh, so cute. Tonight we're keeping it simple and doing um, lasagna. It's Friday, so we're kind of running out of food. Not really, but we've ate our home chef. So we do have a few different um, frozen meals. And then tomorrow I'm going to take some of these meats out. I have steaks chicken and another set of steaks for Davis and I that I want to just throw in the freezer so I'll bring that out tomorrow and some I have fresh green beans <laughs> fresh green beans and stuff but and then I just made these cookies I don't know how good they are um oh they look good but I got them they're this sweet Lorenz sweet Lorenz cookies I've seen these in store but I don't know I never tried them baked 12 cookies safe to eat raw and oh oh <laughs> they are gluten dairy vegan peanut tree nut free so if you're looking for something i did try one not cooked and it was decent it was not bad so we'll see how these taste i mean they look good especially when you flip them on the bottom like that i like my cookies as most of you know if you saw the s'mores cookies i like them soft so okay i'm gonna try one of these real quick just so we can see if they're good Let's see. I want like the chocolatey side. It says they're 120 calories each, which I feel like is not that bad. Oh. I'm gonna see if Davis can tell the difference. Let's, let's see what he thinks. What's that? Try this cookie. Oh what? I said try this cookie. Cookie? Mm-hmm. Okay. This looks good. Good, huh? It tastes like it's an attempt at a healthier cookie. Is it? Yeah. What's it, what's it, is it like cauliflower or something? No, God, no. It's vegan-free, nut-free, egg-free, dairy-free. It's good, but I can tell it's like trying to be healthy. 